Spaces. Whoa. It's Spaces Sims, and we are back with more of the Sims 4. Or you just took him right away. Sims 4 Time Lord Challenge, and we are here with Lady Heart the Ninth. So, okay, look, I know. I do this every time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Look, there was a lot to do. I had a lot to do, but I was really industrious, so we got it done. Anyway, um, we've got makeovers for everyone, uh, including Holden. He aged up. We got makeovers for the TARDIS. We got to go through all that. But before we get into that, okay, so Holden is going to age up to a child on... No, not Holden. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Ansel's going to age up. Because I was like, wow, he's going to age up already. Right, he's going to age up. Uh, The boys, Victor and Errol are going to age up on Thursday. So they'll only be here maybe for the first week. Like, so the first couple episodes. And then they're going to move out. So that means they're going to take Holden with them because Holden belongs to Victor. And I know that this just shows Errol aging up, and that's because Victor got pushed back. You know, well, maybe we'll keep them a couple extra days until Holden ages up. If, you know, they age up one episode, he'll age up the next. You know what I mean? So we could see him as a child, and then we'll move him out. So, well, anyway. Let's go look at him. I have to... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. MC Command Center, modifying cast, because we... Too many Sims in the house. We have nine Sims. Out of the 10 we can have, so we gotta, you know, do it this way. I can't show everybody at once. So we'll show him first, because we've already kind of seen him. So, he's adorable. I don't know why he's red hair. I don't know why he's, like, so tan, but, like, anyway. So here's his everyday outfit. We got his formal wear, which we'll never see. His sleeper, which we'll see all the time with his cute little fucking dinosaurs on it. His party wear, which is also fucking adorable. The swimsies, which I don't know if we'll see because now we're getting into fall and winter, right? So his hot weather outfit, again, which we'll probably never see because it won't be hot weather. And then this outfit, which we'll see all the time because it's winter. So here he is. He's cute as shit. Anyway, so there you go. That's Holden as a toddler. Didn't give anyone else makeovers. So Julian, Errol, Victor, Ansel, Caleb, Morgan are all basically the same. I didn't add new clothes or anything like that just because... You know, at some point, yeah, I'll be like, hey, we should give Morgan and Caleb, like, add new clothes for them and change things around. But I didn't bother this time because I wasn't thinking about it, one. And I didn't feel like, like, sometimes it's like, yeah, I want to do it. I didn't, I didn't, I was like, I don't know if I have time, so I got to get everything else done. I'm pretty sure I finished the TARDIS. I came in, I did things so much and was all over the place. I'm like, I think I finished everything. I got the thumbnail done. Which is usually the last thing I do because I gotta get makeovers first. <laughs> but anyway, our friend buddy lady over here is Desiree Grotz this time. Look, I just randomized her last name and I was like, okay, Grotz, sure. And then um, Desiree came up and I'm like, yeah, that kind of fits her. So she has the author aspiration. Um, she's a natural musician. She's family oriented and wow, she has a writer really trait, know. which we can't see in here. Uh... That's why I gave her the author aspiration. I was like, well, maybe she'll write kids' book because she's all family-oriented. I think, does she? Have no, she only has one outfit. I mean, I guess I could have given her two, but... Hmm. Anyway, so, uh... Here she is. She's super cute. Again, I just randomized until I got, like, okay, a face. She actually had one of the other, like, head wrap kind of things on, but I wanted to be able to see her earrings, so I put her in this one, so... And then I kind of just matched her stuff kind of around it. It doesn't match perfectly, but it's not supposed to. It's just... You know, I want her to kind of have that, like, just casual, maybe, like, relaxed kind of vibe. Like, I don't know. I don't know. She just is what she is. I, anyway. um, So, she actually, I know that she's technically worn this dress before. I don't think it's... Did I use this color pattern? I thought I used a different one. Ooh. Maybe I did use this color pattern before on her. No, I think it was this one. She had that one when she was, uh, what's her face? But I don't know. This one's still like, I just really liked it on her. And I like the bright colors and stuff like that. So anyway, there you go. That's her formal. This is her athletic. I think she just kind of like, likes a lot of color and patterns and things and whatnot. So, um, she, she's got a lot of boobs, but don't mind that. Uh, she got a lot of boob, though, but... And this also would kind of work. This one's going to be a little low-cut when she turns out. She's going to age up. She's an adult right now. She's going to age up to an elder. 
So I kind of also wanted to give her a look that kind of worked. Like, yeah, she's no, but and if she turned into an elder, like, it would still kind of work and it wouldn't look weird. So, like, she looks cute as an adult. She'll look cute as an elder, you know, where you could be like, yeah, okay, maybe she looks like. Like, she loves to tell stories. She's got a lot of stories, like, in fables and myths and things that she likes to tell everyone. That's kind of where she got a writer oh. thing, too. You know what I mean? So, I actually randomized her traits. Uh, but then when I was kind of creating her, I think I added, I adjusted some of them. Um, and the writer and the author aspiration, because I was like, yeah, you know. Like, she looks like, even right now, she's got a lot of different stories. Ooh, let me tell you stories and some mythology and, like, all that kind of stuff. And then... And then when she turns into an elder in a couple of days, it'll be the same thing. Like, oh, she's that little old lady that's going to sit down and tell you stories and stuff. And maybe she'll knit. Maybe we'll give that to Morgan or Caleb to do. We should give it to Caleb to do, honestly, because, like, Morgan needs to sleep and Caleb doesn't. And we can just have him knit shit, like, left and right, because that's coming out soon. So, it's kind of exciting. I know there's not a lot of people excited about that pack. And, like, look, it wasn't my first choice, but I'll be dead honest with you. When we got the vote, I'm like, knitting is going to win. Because everybody was, like, obsessed with the fucking idea. So I was like, I knew it was going to win. I wasn't shocked or anything. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so I knew it was going to win. Even though it's I voted for the Arts and Crafts second. And I would would have fucking loved to see glass blowing. That would have been fucking amazing. But I'm not upset about the knitting. Because it's like, well, I mean, it's another hobby to do. And, like, I know there's so many people getting pissed because it's like, the elders are the only ones who can do it. It's like, oh, my God. It's just a lot of people are like, it gives you something to do. Like, you think about your grandma knitting stuff for the kids. And, like, that's cute. Yes, we get it. Anybody can knit. Like, but, I mean, I think the mentality of it, and it definitely is for me, is like, yeah, I want, like, some hobbies for elders, like shuffleboard and bingo. But then I want my young adults to be able to go to bingo, too. Because, like, hello, I would go to drag bingo. Like, it's not just for old people. Same thing with knitting. But... The problem is we you have so many hobbies like painting and woodworking and all this that it's like, but I've done the painting through teenage and young adult and adult that I'm fucking bored with it by the time I get to elder and that's why elders are boring. But if you gave them specific hobbies, everyone would be kind of pissed like, well, why can't I do shuffleboard as a young adult? And then they would let you do it and then you get bored and you'd want elders. But it's like it's a vicious cycle. And we're never going to be happy. So. The more hobbies, the better, because then you could decide, like, I only want my elder sim to knit, or I'm going to have them, that's going to be their thing, and, like, the fact that, look, the fact that kids can knit is just, that's what I'm excited about. I'm sure they're not going to be able to knit everything, but that's fine. The fact that they could actually do dipped candles is like, <gasps> you acknowledge that there are children in the game, finally! It's, oh, okay. But, I think Caleb will be our knitter, is basically it, so. And, like... So I just, I'm so excited about all the little knit toys because I voted for all of them, except for the clown because I don't like clowns. Clowns scare me. Even though he wasn't a creepy clown, he was kind of a cute clown, but like still I was like, all the knitted toys, not voting for the clown. <laughs> like, anyway, uh, this is Lady Heart the Ninth. So she has the Strangerville aspiration. She's paranoid, a space enthusiast, and a slob. And she has the goofy walk. So this is one of her everyday outfits. She does have two. Um, so she's got her alien tattoos and all that. She's got... Oh, I gave her the one with the Yeti? I thought I gave her the one with the vampire because of Kayla. But, like, the Yeti's kind of funny anyway. But, you know. And, you know, her crazy hat. This is when she's going around doing the Stranger of a Mystery. And she's, like, covered in dirt and everything. Because, you know, she's been splunking around, right? So that's why she looks crazy. Her other ones... It's funny because I was like, I want her, I knew what I wanted. I wanted her to be like crazy and goofy looking, but her formal wear, I wanted her to be totally cleaned up where you were like, wow, she's actually really pretty under all that looking crazy, you know? But then I did some of her other outfits and I'm like, no, but she just looks now, she's just pretty. So she's got that crazy looking outfit because that's her like, I don't give a shit, I'm out there. But, you know, and then she's got this one, which is, you know, just... A little more put together. Like, this is the, like, lady, you got to put a little bit better clothes on. Um, I didn't have enough of the, like, stuff for, like, crazy space enthusiasts, crazy hat things. And I didn't want her to be wearing that hat the whole time. But I also didn't, I wonder every day I kind of didn't want her to have, like, nice hair. And I don't have a lot of, like, this one looks kind of messy when you put the hat on it. It looks like she just threw it up. You know what I mean? But 
I don't have a lot of like messy hairs. So uh, this is her formal wear. And this was the when, the moment where I wanted it to be like you put her in a nice fancy ass dress and it's like, well, fuck you clean up nice. So like, you know, because fuck she cleans up nice, you know. So. Uh, and then we have her athletic outfit again. She's like alien enthusiast. So we did all that. She does have a back tattoo, but like whatever you can see. Um, her sleepwear, you know, just crazy bright colors. I didn't, I don't know if I have like alien pajamas. I didn't want to go through every single pair of pants I had. So I was like, this works fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so <laughs> Illuminati jacket, <sighs> her party wear, you know, she's got her alien jewelry on and you know, I don't know why the cat ears, it's got the moon and stars and she's a little strange. She also has braces. So that's pretty funny. Um, so she's cleaned up a little bit, but she also kind of has that look. Of, like, she's super cute, but you're like, she's also a little weird. She's a little... And then she's probably going to be that person that's going to come up to you and talk about weird conspiracies and aliens and all that stuff like that. Um, her swimwear, you can kind of see her, like, tattoo on her back there. Um, her swimwear is just, you know, paper mache... Uh, 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 paper mache. Origami dinosaurs. You know, I didn't... Again, I couldn't find alien ones, and I was like, sure, she'd be interested in dinosaurs, too. Why not? Um... Huh. Her hot weather outfit, which we probably won't see a lot of, but, you know, I tried to get as much alien-esque kind of things as I could. Um, and her cold weather outfit, you know, which we'll see more often, so, you know, kind of fits in with the Strangerville vibe. Also a little reminiscent of Second Lady, who had the old-timey pilot. We didn't have this hat at the time, man. This is what I needed at the time, and we didn't have it, so. She got it now, um... But there you go. So I kind of wanted to go first. She kind of is a sciencey nerd, um, but she, her main outfit was she was supposed to look all crazy. But like her formal outfit, like I said, is like all fancy, dressed up. Beautiful. You're like, wow, that's what's hiding under there. It's kind of the vibe I was going for. But then the rest of her outfit's kind of just she looks kind of normal. <sighs> look. Sometimes I fall off my own wagon. Like, I'm up here doing the every day in the far. And then by the time I get to the end, I'm like, eh, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> like, we start with a theme, and then it's a roller coaster crash down to whatever the fuck happens when we get to the end of them. You know? So it is what it is. But anyway. That's that. And we are in Strangerville, obviously. We're over here on this giant lot because we're moving up bigger lots as we go. Um, so I just kind of expanded. I moved things over a little. I added a nice little tree back here to give us some shade when they're playing on the stuff. Um, and I just kind of moved some things. I didn't really add too much or move anything else. Who's calling you? We should hang out more. Sure. Um, and I rearranged our pictures. That's it for the outside. So we come down into the first floor. Let's put up our walls. We got some like science-y kind of thing. This is the normal hallway it was always here we still got our cauldron so over here we come into we got a little door over here i went through okay so again these are all gallery rooms the only ones that don't fall under this are the kids rooms because there just wasn't i looked under i think grunge i wanted grungy looking okay and i looked for like hashtag strangerville and hashtag grungy looking um that's kind of what i was going for i wanted things to look kind of old i just sent you some money sure i'll take that seven bucks it's fucking seven bucks so this isn't really grungy at all but it's supposed to look like an old apartment kind of building you know what i mean so um i did rearrange some things because obviously i had to move this over and put a door here because there wasn't a door um there was just this secret door so so that's kind of like a little living room area where they can chill out that little secret door leads into our apartment kitchen kind of thing there were washer dryers here but i took them out because there's actually washer dryers in the bathroom and i'm like we don't need two so this was actually kind of set up like here's like this little kitchen um i added these posters because there was a window there and i took it out and it just looked weird so i put posters there um and that door was there that goes back out into the hallway and then it's like a little dining area and then there <laughs> again the archway was there and this was there and this door was there and i was like i just had to make it work so um, so it's almost like a little open area, but you can see like, it's kind of like water stained and stuff like that, but it's like a little kitchen dining kind of area. Um, this, which should be the front door comes into a bathroom. Um, so 
you know, that's got a washer dryer and everything. So maybe we'll just leave the clothes all over the place. We'll see if anybody does anything. So that's that little bathroom there off the kitchen. This goes into another kind of living room area, which again was, um, this closet wasn't there. I put it there. I don't know what was there. I don't remember. I changed something, but anyway. Um, so this is just, again, another, like, living room kind of area for them to kind of hang out in. Uh, whatever. So they got two of those. And we go back out here, and here's another bathroom. So, again, everything was either other under the hashtag Strangerville or hashtag grunge. Um, except for, obviously, this kid's room. I just did kid's room and did, like, by most popular. Um and found this cute little toddler room. I extended it so it would fit in this space and so we could have two beds. So I did that and then I added that and put these pictures up here. So uh, this was just a little bit smaller. I extended it and added and adjust, made some adjustments. So, But anyway, so that's the toddler room. Then we come over here and this is, oh, this is Desiree's room. So again, there was actually a door there, but I took it out. So it's just like kind of a little lofty bedroom. So there's her room. We come over here and... Uh, okay, so this is Victor's room. So again, just kind of a... Oh, hi. Who are you? Oh, she just showed up. Okay. Anyway. um, So yeah, this is his bedroom. Who's calling you? No, we don't want a job. And then over here, this should be Errol's room, I think. Yeah. So just picked out some bedrooms that kind of like sort of fit the theme. And then there is another bathroom over here, which is just fucking amazing. Uh, there were like, I think windows there and there were windows over here. I moved the windows because there is, this also had two doors out, which probably would have looked really cute, like with like a little balcony thing. But again, I had to make some adjustments because we're going to have windows in there and then doors into nothingness. So I moved the windows and whatnot. But, you know, this fancy ass, I don't know why it was under the grunge tag, but you know, whatever it is here. So did you see the picture? Yeah, sure I did. So there's that. Uh, and then we're going to go downstairs again, and we have another downstairs area. We'll get to this. So first over here, we have another bathroom. Okay. We have, I think this was, uh, is this, yeah, this is Julian's room. So, you know, he got his room over here. Oh, there's a door there. Okay, we should get rid of that. I didn't realize there was a door there. So let's just get rid of that. I didn't realize there was a door that I try to like adjust things and fix things and whatnot, but it would actually be fine that there was a door there, but now there's a closet there. So anyway, um, this will be Ansel's room when he, when he ages up. So like nobody has it yet, but we'll put him in here. Um, so there's that over here. This is, Oh dear God, turn off. Good Lord. No one's going to be able to sleep. This is Caleb and Morgan's room. So I E Morgan's room cause Caleb will never sleep. So, this is their room down here. There are windows, apparently, and their room to look into the little kids' room. So, again, this, uh, I just looked up playroom. I think I looked up, I don't think I looked up hashtag. It was either hashtag or item name with playroom. I think it was hashtag. Um, I just looked up, like, a playroom because I wanted some, like, area for the kids, like, and kids' toys and stuff like that. So, again, I made some changes. I moved some things around. I put that in here. I put this in here. I put this table in here. Like, took some things out. So, um, slight adjustments, whatever. So just for an area for the kids, plus we had a gaping space with nothing, so. Oh god, who died? Who died? <gasps> oh no! Jasper died! Oh no, Jasper! Oh, Jasper, sweetie, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know he was an elder. I swear, like, I didn't realize that he was an elder already. He came over, but he never acted like one. I thought he was still an adult. I wasn't even thinking about it. Aw. Well, there we go. Our first child is dead. Yeah, go over. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm just... Can I give them your number? Sure, I guess. I mean, no, but okay. Good lord, I'll come over. Good, everyone's going places. Anyway, okay, so. Then we have over here, this is just, uh, this is... Ooh, we're missing. Oh, Desiree. Wait. Oh, no, we're still... I was like, wait a minute, we already did this. 
Never mind. Okay, then this whole this is ladies' bedroom. So then this whole area, I found this. All of this was one room, and they just you know obviously walls were missing, so that you could load it. You know what I mean? But this was all one room, and it's like a fucking science lab. And I'm like, fuck yeah, we're putting that in. And I obviously moved our walls to fit. But so this is just it works perfectly. It's like just a fucking mad science lab. Looks like it fits in Strangerville. You know what I'm saying? Like, holy crap. So it's just all this stuff. All this craziness. Um, just everything. And then I added this other room, which is like a bunker room. So this is lady's bedroom. Because I'm like, she needs something that looks like a crazy ass bunker. Because she's fucking crazy. And she needs to sleep in a weird place. So I added that room onto this. But yeah, all of this stuff was all so like this little room all of this was one freaking big ass room yes i know so yeah so there's that um so all the toddler stuff all the kids stuff so that's our tardis now uh with all of our kind of grungy strangerville looking things i wanted everything to look like this but it was really hard to find stuff so i just kind of went with grunge and just picked out some of the things that kind of fit there wasn't as many like bedrooms and whatnot, but yeah, I know you're sad, but we're going to have to go and kind of do the Strangerville mystery. That's kind of what I would like to do. We probably won't end up doing it. Leslie, are you my grandson? I'd love it if we could be friends, Um, but you're my grandson. Like, okay. Aww. Build sand sculpture together. We can do that because we're in the dust. Look at the dust blow. I love Strangerville. <laughs> so fucking neat. Like, ugh. And I know, like, it just, I love it. And I know that there are, and I've thought about it, like, Nando makes a lot of, like, mods to, like, change the world because we did that. He did it with Granite Falls a long time ago to make, like, an island. Now we have Sulani, but... He's got the Forgotten Hollow mod that turns it into, like, a Japanese kind of world. He's got the one that turns this into Egypt. But I can't. I like this world too much. I get why. Because it was probably easier to change these maybe into pyramids because of the structure itself. But I can't overwrite Strangerville. I just like it too much. Plus, we're using it. I just, I don't know. It's got too much charm. Even though you don't want to do the Strangerville mist, I just, I don't know. It just... And it's the same thing with Forgotten Hollow. I'm using it in another game, so it's kind of like I would have to put the mod in and take it out. And don't get me wrong. I would love... I need, I love... I want a Japanese-inspired world so bad, so I love the idea of that mod, but... Why are you... Hot. From being hot due to temperature. Why? It's cold outside, and... Our thing isn't even on. So how are you sad from being hot? It's cold outside... And it's not even warm in here. I just don't understand. Anyway. So everyone's hanging out. I know, sweetie. I'm sorry. I did not... It makes me very sad that Jasper died. I'm, I'm sorry. So. Rip Jasper. Like, he's building a sand structure all his own. You're the only thing that we have left. Anyway, but yeah, so we may or may not do the Strangerville mystery. I, that's what I wanted to do. I really did want to do it with her. So we might like poke around and like do whatever. But if we don't finish it, we don't finish it. Like we might not fight the mother plant. Maybe we will. It's been a while since we did it. And my intent was to actually do it in my Every Which Way legacy. Like, oh, okay, we'll do it again. Because we haven't done it since Colorado. Oh, you're wearing boots in the shower again. And leggings. You know what, though? You a little cray-cray, so it's okay. I know she doesn't have erratic or whatever as one of her traits, but it's fine. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> anyway. Why is everyone hot due to temperature? It's not hot out, and that's going to drive me bonkers. Like, why does this happen? Like, okay, well, you could just take a shower. Um, It's nice of you to take care of your nephew, but you're sad... Because, okay, you're just sad because of the death. Okay, good. <laughs> the good. Not good, but I just meant, like, you're not sad because I'm like, you're too hot or some bullshit. There's too many radios in this house, so. Anyway. 
Victor! Yay! Good for you. Okay, so we gotta take care of everyone. Can you eat... Babbling. Cute. Oh, we gotta take out some food. We don't have a lot of countertops in here, though. Um, open. Let's pull out some chicken and put that here for you. Why don't you grab a serving? Because you're hungry. And then you can go to bed. You are sleeping and you're fine. You are tired. Um, You're okay. You need to... Oh, you're taking a bath. You're hungry and... Let's have you come here and get leftovers. You're okay. You need to take a bath after you're done eating. And she's sleeping. Okay, so cool. Just make sure everybody's good. So Everybody seems okay. They're all chilling in here. I know. It's sad. I know. We're sad. One of your kids is going to die soon, too. Probably. I mean, let's check. Arthur is an adult. He's the first one that's going to go. Yeah. I mean... Wait a minute. Who are we missing in here? Oh, right, we're going to have to add Carrie in there because I forgot. That's right, Xavier had a baby. She had a baby, so I don't think we, we can't add the toddlers. So. Look at fucking Lady's family tree. Good God, Lady. From Alien Abductions. That's insane. And then you look at your family tree. Aww. Aww. What? Well, wait, who's your... Wait, was that, um... Oh, no. She... How are you still alive? How the fuck? Are mermaids, like, like live forever? Because, like, how the fuck? Je Colorado's been dead for fucking forever. How is Shiraishi still fucking alive? Well, now he's Smith. But, anyway. How is he still alive? How is he still alive? When it, I just, Jasper was born in game. We moved them into this game save. Jasper was at least a toddler or child. And Colorado and Shiraishi were either young adults or adults at the time. How the hell did he become an elder? And then Jasper aged up to an elder and then died. And Shiraishi's still fucking alive. How? What are you, a mortal? I just, and I wonder how old she is. <gasps> oh, that's Arizona. Oh my God. I was like, wait a minute. At first I thought she got married again. And then I was like, oh my God, Arizona in this picture. I was like, she looks like a dude with long hair. She looks like should I, she 100 fucking percent in these tiny little thumbnails. That's fucking weird. No, you never. Oh my God. She had a ton of kids. She has Scarlet. With ha well, Haas, obviously. Yeah, okay. And then who did you have this with? Alice. Oh, well, who's Alice's parents? <gasps> Gibson! Oh my god. Okay, and then you. Scarlet has two kids. Cohen and Tamika. And Cohen is with Eva, who is Shaggy! Shaggy! I love that. And then, oh my god. Milani. Okay, so... <gasps> Sayaka. With Catherine Pancakes. Oh my god, look! We got a Pancakes child descendant. There's some crazy shit. I love oh. MC Command Center. It's so much fun. It is great. But like... I mean... But wow. Oh, okay, wow. I just... I love looking at the family trees every once in a while and just seeing this crazy shit, but I just do not know how Shiraishi's still fucking alive. I really don't. And, like, they're all alien kids. Looks like for... Is Carrie? No, right. You had a baby with Tabitha, who also has Harvey. Okay. But Tabitha is Boston from our Blackwell series and Nadia from um, Where Dreams Reside. Wow. But, at, well, wait.
Wait, 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 Boston, isn't Gibson one of your relatives? Hold on. Or did he marry into your family? Because, wait a minute. You had those kids, but I swear to God. Okay, I don't know. How we trace that back. Maybe it's just the name. Because we... Ugh, I'm so confused. I want to be able to see more than this. It was you. Oh, wait a, oh, wait a minute. I didn't even look at you. <laughs> Junko is your grandmother. Oh, no, 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 no. It was her children that are linked to the Blackwell house. No, it was him, right? No, that was Catherine. Wait a minute. Was it you? Or you? Yeah. Well, Gibson... Gibson wasn't a Blackwell. Gibson was... That's Gibson House. So he obviously married... Someone who was a Blackwell. But Alice came from... Because he... He must have married... Someone in the Blackwell house. Because he wasn't... He's not related to the Blackwell family. I mean, he is now, because he got married to somebody in there, and then they died, and obviously got cold. I got him. Okay, so obviously there's laundry, because you just laid it down, so... Well, you can't do the laundry because your brother's in there peeing. So why don't you search pockets and then pick up clothing piles. Used and soaked. Why? So let's have you do that. And then search the pockets for money. Sixteen whole dollars. Pick up all the clothing piles. There's a lot already, which is kind of sad because we literally just moved into this house, so how the hell we have that much full laundry? Do laundry. Add a washing machine. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to get abducted. Okay, you have fun with that. How about... you? No, 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 no. You go take a shower. Oh, you're going to put the baby to bed. Okay. Why don't you come here and do laundry, add to washing machine? Oh, sorry, you were supposed to eat first. Which one's that's the wash? That's the dryer. Okay. Should be. Um, wash laundry. No. Oh, and then finish drinking. Okay. Ah. Now you can finish drinking? Okay. No, you're good? Okay. Morgan's gonna take a shower. Did you put the baby to bed? Okay, he's in bed. He's in bed. You're in bed. I'm just gonna pretend you ate something, because you really need to stay sleeping. You are... Dancing. You're getting abducted by aliens. You need to go to bed. Perfect. It wasn't even... I was just going to click you. You're dancing too. Oh, yeah. You're right over here. Yeah, well, we don't do neighborhood brawls, so... I should have canceled it, but I didn't know what we were doing. Anyway. um, You're going to go... No, 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 Morgan. Go to sleep. Morgan, no. Stop it. Oh, dear. Well, there goes Caleb. Uh, Morgan, I wish you would go to bed in your own bed. Go to sleep. And you were also getting abducted. Okay, everyone is being abducted right now, except for Lady Hart. Oh, look! Wesley got abducted, too. So, Wesley, did you get alien pregnant? Because you don't live in my house. I don't give a shit, but I want to find out. Nope. Oh, someone else is getting abducted, unless that was Wesley's aliens. I gotta get... Go! I gotta... He's like, I gotta leave. First day on the job. Literally, this is what happens. The first episode of every is like 15 people get abducted. Who the hell is sleeping out there? Wait. No, asshole! Why will you not sleep in your fucking bed? Go here. Why can you not fucking... Sleep. Why can you not sleep in this bed? Can't get to it maybe because of that? I don't know. Or the end tables are here. But here's the thing. You should be able to get to it. There's a free space. Go here. Can you not get in the bedroom? You can. Can you sit on the bed? 
Okay, you can sit on the bed, but you can't sleep in the bed. Why can you not? How can you? This game is fucking dumb sometimes. There is no fucking reason. As long as one space is free, you should be able to get into the bed. So why can you not sleep in the fucking bed? Why can you not sleep in the fucking bed? I don't understand this. Sleep? Okay, I don't fucking understand that. Because this tile has to be free? Like, I don't, I don't understand. It's the dumbest thing ever. Okay, are you getting food? Okay, you're eating. Okay. You were abducted. Did you get alien pregnant? Because you're not allowed to be. Okay, you need to stop doing that. You're not allowed to be alien pregnant. Um, so, okay, nobody else is alien pregnant because... Try some light makeup. No one else is allowed is alien pregnant because he got pregnant and there was only space for one child. Okay. Everybody else could have gotten alien pregnant, but no. It was Caleb, the one person who's not allowed to get alien pregnant. Okay. No, not allowed to get alien pregnant. You can only get pregnant with Morgan. Thank you. That's Those are the rules here. Be mischievous. Let's not do that. I'm just going to cheat that up. All right. So you need to go to sleep. I don't know why you didn't go back to sleep after you. Stop talking and go to bed. You are fine. You need to eat and go to bed. Um, You're fine. You're sleeping. You're okay. You're sleeping. You need to take a shower. Okay. I don't know why these buttfucks won't do anything on their own. <laughs> they really like this shower. Oh, whoops. And, oh. Pristina damp. Okay, then we'll dry the laundry. Because somebody unloaded. That's really funny that someone unloaded it, puts it in, but nobody turns it on. This is what I hate about the laundry stuff. Like, I know they did it that way to be like, well, see, it's totally. People really think there can never be such things as zombies. I want to prove them wrong. Do you think zombies are real? Sure. Um. Uncomfy. Well, what are you? what were you sitting on? Anyway, uh, I know that they did that like, oh, look, because then you put it in and then you got to click it again and it's super interactive. No, that's just stupid. That was just you being lazy. Like, look, because then you have to interact with it more and it makes it more, what, fun? No, it's annoying. Who the fuck puts their laundry in? I put it in the washing machine. You turn the washing machine on, it runs, you put the soap in, you throw your laundry in, you're done. Not, I threw my laundry in. Oh, I forgot to actually run it. You throw your shit in the dryer and you turn it on right then and there. You might forget to unload it, or you might forget to re-put it on, because it needs to go through the drying cycle 42 times if you have a shitty jet thing, but... Like, you know, but you don't forget to turn it on. Like, hey, so it's just so dumb that they added that as an extra step. Like, they absolutely did it, like, it's an extra step, so then, like, you know, it just feels more interactive. Look, people voted for fucking laundry, and it was dumb to begin with, but why did you make it worse? Just freaking auto-do it. It just makes me angry. Turn off. I'm going to have to start deleting all the radios from the bedrooms because people can't sleep. Okay, hold on. I got to do it. I, just, I just got to delete it. Because people are going to keep turning the damn thing on and it's going to stay on. And the Sims are too goddamn freaking stupid to turn them off. Like, there's a radio on. I can't sleep. I guess I'll just go sleep on a couch. Why don't you turn the radio off? Why do I have to click on it? Why aren't you smart enough to turn a radio off? Okay, I know it was just those two. We'll see what other ones there are. Like, that's why I never have radios in my Sims house. Because they're always fucking on. And then they just get annoyed by them. And it's like... You know what was really fucking weird? That mirror threw me the fuck off. I came in here and I was like, oh my god, there's another, like... I thought for a second there was, like, another secret area to the bedroom that I didn't realize was there. I was trippy as fuck. Weird. Anyway. Um, so... This is the beginning of... Lady Heart the Ninth. And I guess we'll just... I'm gonna leave it here. Um, and we'll continue and maybe we'll start... 
go poking around the town or some stuff when she wakes up. So why? Why are you just leaving dirty laundry everywhere? You s- oh, she's a slob. That's why. Never mind. That makes sense. It absolutely makes I was like, why are you? There was a clean laundry bag. Right. She's a slob. It'll just throw it on the floor. Forgot about that. Anyway. Um, so that's what's going to make laundry more annoying. But we'll see if how long I can stand it in this. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.